Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Noe. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, she is. La vergüenza. Back, of course. <laughs> nice to see you, Hi, Noe. Very good. Hi, guys. Hi, Eric. Hi, Jose. Hi. Juan. Eli, Diego, William, Selmer, Flor, Francisco, Rocío, Daniel, David, Lisette, and Jose. Very good. Jose Ramos. Very good. Welcome. Nice. Very nice. How was your weekend? Was your weekend okay? Nice. Excellent, Lisette. Very nice. So, so why? What happened, Eli? Uh, Mucho trabajo. A lot of work? Yeah, I know. I believe yes. you, Eli. I believe you. All right. All right, how are you, Williams? How was your weekend? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it was, I um, was so nervous about the situation, the political situation of the, ah, yeah. now the country. And it, is, it was sick. Yeah. Yeah. I, know, I, know. I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird, eh? It's strange. Yeah. 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 But anyway, Let's... guys, we're here. We're in the quarantine. Yeah. We need to be home. Don't go out. Wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a great right time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, guys. This is the last week of free advance too. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine? Time is flying, right? So this week is the very last week. And then you guys will go on on free advanced three excellent so i'm proud of you guys very good okay so guys um i saw already and i already commented on eric on the williams i think it was francisco one i believe and some other people that already commented on the um discussion box after the video of section five so that's very good because that means that some of you have already begun studying it. And I know Elmer also has to study it. Elmer no me dicho buenas noches. Oye, no me quiero. Good evening, my dear ah, teacher. Okay. How are you? Fine. How are you, Elmer? Ya se, ya se falta. No. <laughs> El bullying. Ya se falta. Anyway, Elmercito, no, yo, porque a todos me saluda menos usted. Calladito me veo más bonito. Well, anyway. Anyway, so guys, we're going to uh, talk about section five. All right, so this is what I have for you. We're gonna, we're going to do two things. We're gonna watch shortly the uh, video on the platform, and then we're going to study my uh, presentation for this topic, okay? It's not very complicated, but again, we need to memorize some things if we are not so sure. So let me just get this here. All right, so this is the, the platform 5.3 referring to time in the past, okay? That's why the previous video talked about if you guys knew about World War I, if you knew how long the Beatles were together for, all right? So that's why we had that previous video. All right, so let's see this. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. All right, very good. So here, I stopped it right there because I'm not going to show you everything else. You can do that by yourselves. All right, the idea here are three key, el three key elements, okay? We're talking about referring to timing the past, okay? How do we do this? By three, by three ways, let's say. Number one, when we, talk, when we refer to a point of time in the past. Notice it says point, okay? A point, a specific time, a point on it. 
Then we have a period of time in the past. Notice it says period, all right? So it's not a point, it's not precise, it's a period of time. And the last one, it says, again, a period of time that continues into the present. That's why number two and number three are different. Although they are talking, both are talking about a period of time, but one is in the past, that means finished. Yes? And the number three, it says a period of time that continues into the present. So it's not finished. You see the difference between those three? Guys, hello, hello. Yes. 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 And the difference between, mm. between those three. Mire que ando medio enfermita, así que mejor háblenme porque si no me voy a dormir. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, very good. I have a big headache. All right. So a point of time, number one is a point of time in the past. All right. It's there. It's finished because it's in the past, but it's a point. It's a specific moment. If you notice, it says during the 1940s, in the 1940s, a specific year, over 60 years ago. If you count back 60 years ago, va a llegar a un punto preciso, yeah? So when we talk about a point of time in the past, then we can use the other um, prepositions that we have there. When we talk about a period of time in the past, it's a it's longer, all right? It's not a point, it's a period. Yes, but it's in the past. And the third one, period of time that continues into the present is not finished, okay? Now. My, my dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. I have a question about the a point in time of time in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, why do, when you say during the 1940s, mm -hmm. is a uh, from uh, 1940 1949. To, uh, 1949, yes, yeah. it's a period of time. It would be a period, but they don't take it as a period of time because they take it as a decade. All right, so when it's a decade, if for them is it's a period within the time. But Not they see confused. It. Not really, because usually when you usually for this one, um, mm -hmm. You don't say from the 1940s, you say during the 19, mm. yeah? Because they the are different, like, the, the difference is the word it is using in, that's yeah. in this case. Right. For example, during in yeah. uh, ego. And, yes, and we're gonna study this, Elmercito, on the PPT I have for you, okay? But yeah, Eli? Okay. Um, always use the word during or or can you use a year specific? Uh, for I, example, uh -huh, uh -huh. for example, the World War, the Second World War took place in, to place in 1940s. Yeah, and you have very Only you're years. Be, yeah, Only you're years. Being, yeah, and you, you have to use in, right? In, in, 99, 19. In 1941, 40. for example. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right, so okay. you can use, that's why here, if you notice, guys, if you notice for every, uh, for every reference of time here, they give us some prepositions that we can use, all right? When we talk about a point of time in the past, you may use, uh, let's say, three words, all right? During, in, in. Oh, all right for example I'm going, okay okay teacher he, yeah. he, when you refer to a specific date for example in five or uh, may 5 or on may 5th 1945 uh -huh. uh -huh. but yeah. you have to use on if you have a specific date elmer you have to say uh the war began on may 11th uh, 1950. Uh -huh. On. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. On. If you have, a, uh, no, if you have, yes. It's in the past too. Yes, but if you have a 
but, but then not is in this case. No, because you have a specific date before the year. You're saying on May 11th. It, it, when you use at. Mm, the word began at, at uh, no, you don't at, use at no. for, no, not for years. Only on. Yeah. The, oh, not for days. Nope. Okay, on. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, very good. So here, thank you, Elmer. So here in this case, when we talk about a point of time in the past, we may use three prepositions or three words. During, in, and ago. All right, so these ones, they give you a, a precise point. I know that Elmer was right when he says, but en los cuarentas hay nueve o diez años, una década, no, nos da diez años de, pareciera un periodo, all right, but no, because it's solo en ese punto del tiempo, no es solo en los treinta, no es en los cincuentas, o no es toda la vida, es un nine, exactly. All right, that's why they have to use during. If, as Ellie was saying, if you know exactly the year, you can say in 1941, for example. Mm -hmm. All right? Or if you want to mention the decade, then you can say in the 1940s. Okay? Pero lo escribe tal cual, in the 1940s, in the, in the 90s, in the 80s. All right? So you have to have it, you have to use it that way. In the, and then the year, plus the S. Yeah? Or if you're being very specific, in 1941, pero ya no le pongo ni da ni 41s. All right? Yeah? In 1941, nada más. All right. The second one we use uh, when we talk about a period of time in the past, because it's a period, then we use from and to. From the beginning till the end, kind of thing, from 1970. All right? Or you can say for 10 years, but you don't really know which years, all right? So you're being a little bit not so specific here. And then we have since and for when we talk about a period of time that continues into the present. That means that that is present perfect. Yeah, if you notice the structure here, it says how long has the United Nations been in existence? Has been, that's present perfect, all right? And in present perfect, we use for and we use since, okay? Do you have questions about this right now, guys? No. Okay, very good. Any questions, Elmer, questions? Elisi, Jose, Williams, Daniel, no? Lisette, Magdiel, Rocio, questions, Anita? All right, very no. good. So I'm going to stop sharing this. That's on the platform. You may see it. And this is the uh, PPT that se me perdió. Oh no, it's here. That we have uh, that we're going to be using today. All right. So it is the same thing that is on the platform, guys. Lo que pasa que he dicho de otra forma, pero es lo mismo. All right. So we have referring to time in the past. All right. So we have a point of time in the past. What I have done is this is the same information. This, what it says, a point of time in the past, es lo mismo que les acabo de decir, number one, number two, number three. But right now I'm gonna work on each a word, all right? So when you talk about a point of time in the past, you may use during, you may use over, you may use in, y you may use ago. Ya se lo voy a poner en la otra está. Podemos usar también over, all right? Que ese no está allá, pero existe. It's within the, the time frame. Could be at any point or throughout, all right? Over all the time frame and in a specific time, all right? So something, y aquí quizás le responde un poco la pregunta, Elmer, all right? Porque es during, within the time frame, hay un... un un periodo acá, pero se vuelve siempre un punto porque no es tan amplio. All right, si son 10 años, pero no es tan amplio como decir mil. All right, something that took place during an amount of years could have taken place at any time within those years. All right, esta, esta que está aquí, siempre, ah, perdón, espérenme, denme un segundito aquí. I'm just going to write this. Este siempre es during. 
This is also during, that's like another way to say it. All right, and then the one over is this one. So here we have, es para que tengamos como más definiciones, pero al final is the same thing, all right? So here we have it. It says during something that took place during an amount of years could have taken place at any time within those years. Sucedió durante esos años, all right? Over, usamos over, something that took place over an amount of years was continually happening. Como decimos, it happened over and over again. Veamos aquí los ejemplos. He walked to the beach during the weekend, all right? At some point in the weekend, he walked to the beach. Again, hablamos de un periodo de, de tiempo en el sentido que el weekend es Saturday and Sunday, all right? But it's like in one, en un punto, en un momento, he did this. At some point in the weekend, he walked to the beach. The other example, it says he walked to the beach over the weekend. It took him the whole weekend to walk to the beach. All right, so he was walking and walking and walking constantly. All right, let's go on with ago. I'm just going to move us from here. It says ago, on the other hand, just refers to sometime in the past. Ago uses the simple past tense. You can think of ago equals before now. And we have the examples. I worked on my homework four days ago. That means I worked on my homework for four days before now. So it's already finished. The ago is always going to tell me that it already happened, already finished. John came home from college a month ago. John came home one month before now. Yeah? People lived in caves a long time ago. People don't live in caves anymore. It finished, all right? So we use ago specifically for simple past, all right? Then we have this one. A ver, uh, Eric, can you keep on reading, please? A period of time that continues. Okay. A period of time that continues even to the present. For, for is used when you are using a specific period of time, one week, three hours, five years, and et cetera. I don't know, et cetera. Yeah. Since? Since. Since is used when you indicate the beginning of a specific, specific, Speci specified? Specified, specified period of time. The period of time continues until the present. All right, so four, thank you. Four is used when you're using a specific period of time. For example, I waited for, I have waited for this moment for a week, all right? Or I have waited for this moment since I was a kid, all right? So you can use for or you can use since. Esto ya lo hemos visto porque ya vimos el presente perfecto hace, ooh, all right? So for and since is not new for you, all right? Then we have examples. Uh, let's see. Magdiel, can you read the examples for me, please, honey? Uh, me? Okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. The example, I have been working on my homework for two hours. Very good. The father has been sick for a week. Tom has been attending college for three years very good she's been waiting for the bus for a long time okay if you notice when you say four for example thank you uh, no, when uh, take a look at these examples you're not really telling me you say for two hours uh -huh, but when did you begin waiting for me or for waiting for i mean doing the homework i'm not sure Maybe they began at two, maybe at four, maybe at six. I don't know. I just know the length of time, which was for, for, uh, for two hours. For a week, I have, but when did the week begin? On Monday, on a Wednesday, on a Sunday, when? For three years, from three, for three years, from when? 
like from 1975, from 2015, from when? You don't know that only for three years, for a long time. Uh -huh. But what is a long time? I don't know. Like since 30 minutes ago or since ago or what, what is it? I don't really know the, the, the length of that time, all right? Let's continue with the other one. Daniel Mendez, can you keep on reading, please? Danielito, thank you. Uh, 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 what's the next? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, I, I just want you to read the examples. I have been working. At the forum. Uh -huh. Okay. I have been working on my homework since one o'clock. Okay. Fa father has been sick since Sunday. Mm -hmm. Tom has been attending college since 2005. Mm -hmm. And she's been waiting for the bus since this morning. All right. So in this case, they are giving you more like a specific things. All right. That's why we're using since. Let's go on here. All right. Lizzie, can you read this, please? Yes, teacher. A people have died in the past. From two within a period of time for a specified period of time. Specific period example, of time, right? mm -hmm. Example, he was married from... 1980? 1980 to 1995. Perfect, and the last one? He was married for 15 years. All right, very good, okay. All right, guys, can you take, do you have questions? Niños, niñas, do you have questions? Um, Me? Teacher, or anybody, anybody? have a question? Yes, do you have a question, Noe? Yeah. A ver. Um, Podemos usar, eh, espérame, ¿cómo explicarle? Eh, como vamos a usar eh, las referencias de tiempo de acuerdo a lo que estamos este, pasando, si es por un periodo, si es un punto exacto, etc. Uh -huh. ¿Se pueden combinar esos en, un, en, en una misma oración? Por ejemplo, eh, usted había puesto during the eh, 1940 y este, se puede combinar during for 14 years. No. O sea, por decirle a... Ah, está usando en, en, en el tiempo de periodo. Right. Lo que pasa que from. también es, es... Exacto. You have to... You have to... Um, apegarse, ¿no? You have to follow what is a period, what is a point. Aunque uh -huh. ambos están usándolo en el pasado, pero uno lo va a usar cuando se refiere a period, period of time and the other one when you refer to a point of time. You cannot combine them. You cannot say mm. before. Okay. Or during in, all right? Or is it during or is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Do you guys have any other question? Excellent. All right. Okay, guys, take a picture of this right now, please. Este no le debería de costar mucho. Y take a picture. Finished? Yep. Este es otro. No, este no, es el mismo. mismo. Yeah. Finished? Yes. Yeah. All right, this is the other one. Finished? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oui, sorry. Okay, so let's go to your groups and let, let decide if it's four or the other um, words that you need to be using depending on the exercise, all right? Yes. Okay, you guys are quiet. Today is Monday. <laughs> That's why. I don't know.
we've been in business. We've been in business. Since 2001. Since 2001. Mm -hmm. We have been in business for over five years. Uh huh. Okay, then the next one, she's, uh, she's had a pet monkey for last year, for la, no, since last year. Since, since last year. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just had a pet monkey since last year. Okay, then uh, I will be for she's had a monkey. For two months ago. For two months. Two weeks. No, two weeks. I'm for two months. Four, four or ago, or two months ago. Two months ago. Okay. The next, Sam went to the library. Ten minutes. I went to the library Thanks for ten minutes. minutes ago. Four. I went to the library for for ten minutes mm -hmm. or hace diez minutos. Aquí se podría usar para dos cosas. So went to the library. Uh -huh. I I can speak in English, teacher. Oh come on, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, aquí tenemos una duda. Uh -huh. Aquí podríamos decir, Sam fue a la librería Excuse por 10 minutos. Excuse me, you're reading English. <laughs> <laughs> Sam went to the library 10 min minutes ago. He went, Sam went to the library 10 minutes ago? Sure, or? Or for 10 minutes. He went, Sam went to the library for 10 minutes. Both. Both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Which we have shown the this number three. Number three. Let me see. Number three. Uh, above. Uh, I'll go here. Yeah. Four. Sam has been at the library. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hello, I am four sixty years. Hi. 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 How, what number are you working on right now? Yeah. Four or ago. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right, very nice. We are in the last two. Yep. Okay, very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the kids play uh, 60 years. 60 years. No, for 60 years. For 60 years. Yes. Uh, the next one. The kids played outside. Four. Four. Okay, the kids played outside for 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Uh, okay. And the last one, the kids play outside. 
website? Two days ago. Yeah. Well, well. Two days ago, I think it's two days ago. Mm. No me suena mucho. ¿Cómo se, cómo se, se traduciría? Los niños, han jugado, los niños jugaron afuera. Hace dos días. Hace dos días. Ah, ok. Which sentence are you guys working on right now? Ana and David, which sentence are you working on right now? In the, the, the exercise two, the last one. And this. The kids played outside. Outside? Mm -hmm. uh, two days ago. Okay. Uh, and the other is the kids played outside for uh, 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the number three, Sam went to the library 10 minutes ago. All right. Okay. Yes. That one also would make sense if you say Sam went to the library for 10 minutes. Sorry, repeat, please. That, that one, number three, Sam went to the library. You can say Sam went to the library for 10 minutes. Also. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, as long as it makes sense, it's okay, right? Because, for example, you cannot say the kids play outside for two days. That would be kind of strange, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ah, we, we have a the last question. Question. In this case, uh, the number three. The baby has been walking. Mm -hmm. uh, it, Two months ago or for two months? You're using for or since, right? We use... You're using either for, for. or since. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Both. So let's see. It says the baby has been walking since two months. No, for two months. For, because it doesn't really months. tell you exactly when it, the baby began in May, in June, July, right? Oh, okay. You can say the baby has been walking since May. Ah, we know it's like more specific, but for two months, mm -hmm. desde cuando empezaron esos dos meses? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, specific. okay, okay, thank you. All right, hi, Ellie. Hi, teacher. What happened? Finished? Yes, but uh, but we have a question. A ver, what's your question? In the last one, the kids playing outside. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use for 45 minutes or the kids playing outside 45 minutes ago. Yeah, in some I, sentences, Eli and Daniel, if it makes sense, it's okay. You can use either or. The two form. Yeah, all right. But uh -huh. for example, the last sentence, it says the kids play outside for two days. Two, ago, two days ago. Two the, uh -huh. Two days. That's better to say two days ago rather than say the kids play outside for, for, for two days. It's kind of like, oh, mm -hmm. really? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Yes. So you're finished. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share this one with you. So maybe you can take a picture. Because this is a new one. Okay. Just give me a second. No necesita esta llamada. Esta es. This one, yeah. Ver, 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 ver. Bye. Finished? Yes. All right. Okay. So here you need to use since, for, or ago. Since, for, or ago. Oh, it's more, it's a little difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Teacher. Hi, sorry, pero estaba con unos chicos ahí. Dígame. A ver, no, por cualquier cosa estábamos insistiendo. No, I know, I know. Dígame, ¿qué pasó? Teníamos unas dudas con, con las respuestas. Uh -huh. Aquí no sé si logra ver. El, el, la imagen que tiene aquí este, 
creo que solo lo muevo. All right, veamos. Jane has been absent from class since yes. Monday or for Monday. For, ¿verdad? Eh? Since. Since. Since porque me da un el exacto ese desde el lunes. Ah, ok. Teníamos dudas ahí. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Now, bueno, yo más que todo porque él se me había dicho cosas que no. Ok. All right. Number y, three. The three is since four. Por qué? Because it's not really specific since which month. January, May, July, solo me dice desde por dos meses. Pero no sé desde cuándo, si desde enero, marzo, junio. Porque yo le entendí que el niño camina desde hace ¿Ha dos meses. ¿Ha estado caminando? Ajá. Lo que pasa es que en español decimos desde hace dos meses. Ajá. But in English we say the baby has been walking for two months. Si dijera de mayo, entonces dijéramos the baby has been walking mm. since May. Ok. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, teacher. Um, de aquí. Mm, Revísenos esas otras. The baby. Ah, ay, ay. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> Letter B. Letter B, that one. ¿Mande? Oh. Esa es. So the baby Ajá, has been sí. walking mm -hmm. since the, we have been in business since we have been in business for she had pet uh, she had she has had a pet monkey for since last year uh -huh. she has had a pet monkey for months very good Keith has been playing the piano since he was a young child Keith has been playing the piano for 20 years very good okay Teníamos dudas con las otras. A ver, we have been driving for six hours, yes. We drove to California two months ago. Some went to the library uh, ten minutes ago. All right, four. Some has been at the library for three hours. Jim lived in Hawaii many years ago. Jim has lived in Hawaii for six Let's play outside 45 minutes ago or for 45 minutes. Hay unas que pueden ser either or, Jose y Noe. Ok. All right, okay. que si tiene sentido, it's ok, pero de repente si nada que ver, es como raro. Por ejemplo, la última, the, the kids play outside two days ago. Tiene más sentido el ago que decir for, for two days, ni que no, nunca entraron a la casa. <laughs> right? Okay. All right, very good. Okay, le voy a le voy a dejar de compartir voy a compartir yo esta para que terminen con este ejercicio que este es nuevo. Tómenme la foto ahí, porfi. En esta vamos a usar o for o since or ago, las tres. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Me llaman cualquier cosa. Yo vengo. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, co este, compártelo, José. Comparto. Ajá. En el answer. Ajá. Ok. I, I think they're, they're just waiting this week. Um, Hi, Eric. Hi. I want you to take a picture of this right now, guys, please, because this is the last exercise that some people are already working on it. This one, you need to decide between since, for, and ago. Can you take a picture of this? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes. Niño, ¿ya mandaron los papeles para el siguiente nivel? Yes, but I don't see it. No estoy seguro si los recibieron. Eh, me dio problemas al momento de querer enviar todos los archivos juntos, así que mandé solicitudes primero y luego documentos. Entonces, al final no estoy 100% seguro que haya, si recibieron todo. Ok. Right, yeah. Pero los envié. All right. And you, Eric? <laughs> yep. Excellent. All right. Very good. All right. Did you take the picture? Yes. 
All right, so you may start working on this one, all right? Okay. Thank you. Hi David, hi Ana. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Ya tienen ese, ¿verdad? Es que ando buscando los grupos que no les he dado esa todavía, esa imagen. Ah, ok. Vale. I'll be back, ya vengo, ya vengo. Denme un segundito. Ah, ok. Ok. Working. I work in a, a, lo, a lot of work. Oh, Eli y Daniel, les enseñé la última, ¿verdad? Four things and a go. Yes, yes, I finished that. I finished. Uh, espérenme, espérenme. Denme un segundito porque hay unos niños que estaban con nosotros. Ya vengo, espérenme, espérenme. espérenme. Ok. Hi, Florcita. Flor. Florcita, Flor, Flor. No? Hi, Elmer. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, teacher. ¿Se está portando bien, Elmer, Lizette? <laughs> sí. Qué raro. All right. Ya terminamos. All right. Siempre, es, siempre eh... me he portado bien. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mire, le voy a compartir mi pantalla. No, 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 Solo. no, no, espérese. Tome la foto de eso primero. ¿A esto? Sí. Es que ese es nuevo. ¿Por qué? Porque sí. Qué barbaridad. Para tu morro. Nada, ahorita. <risa> ¿Qué tal el trabajo, Liz? Bien, gracias a Dios. Por el momento tranquilo. Sí, ¿verdad? Oh, ¿Qué pasó? Va, Elmercito. ¿Ya lo terminó, Elmer? <risa> Sí, me extraña. Wow, you're fly. Me extraña que usted me pregunte eso. Hola, teacher. Uh -huh. Solo es uno esto. Solo es una. ¿Una qué? ¿Una página? Sí. Quiere ah, más. Okay. No, yo, pues sí, porque anda ahí a diestra, a, a diestra y siniestra tirando. No, ya ve, Lizer, con usted se porta bien, ya me voy. Mire, teacher. Hola. Así, rapidito, revísenme. Deje de compartir usted, se los voy a vaya, mostrar. Denle, no se vaya, please. No, vaya. no pero vaya, usted ya, está ya, compartiendo ya, ya, ahorita. Ya, 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 deje de compartir, hijo. Vaya, my dear teacher, aquí está la vaina, mire. Ay, oiga, Loli, si de verdad fuera su dear teacher. <risa> Jane has been absent sí, from sí, class. Ajá, sí, no, subí así de él, ¿no? En su Monday. <risa> All right, very good. Jane has been absent from class for several days. Very good. Como Lizette las hizo también. The baby no, has been... Lo <laughs> the baby has been walking no, for two months. Ay, déjela, ay, déjela. Sí. The baby has been walking since January. We have been in business since 2001. We have been in business for over five years. She's had mm -hmm. a pet monkey since last year and she's had a pet monkey... Since four, ¿cómo está eso? El último, desde el último año. No, la última. She has had a pet for months, así. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh -huh. Keith has been playing the piano since he was a young child, yes. Keith has been playing the piano for 20 years, very good. Four and a go. We have been driving for six hours. We drove to California. Two months ago, Sam went to the uh, library 10 minutes ago. Sam has been at, li at the library for three hours. Jim lived in Hawaii for many years. Jim has lived in Hawaii for 60 years. The kids play outside for 45 minutes. Mm. Sabe que la, la primera de Hawaii puede ser Una o la otra, cualquiera estaría bien. Jim lived in Hawaii many years ago. Podría ser también. Hay unas que mm. tienen sentido a ambas. ¿Verdad ah, que sí? sí. Ajá, sí, así estuvimos viendo. Igual que la de, she went to the library, or Sam went to the library. 
eh, mm -hmm. for 10 minutes. Depende ejemplo. cómo la... la... Media vez tenga sentido, Elmer, porque la última sí está raro, ¿verdad? Si yo digo, the kids uh -huh. play outside for two days, es como que nunca entraron a la casa. Uh -huh. Entonces queda mejor a go, por contexto, ¿verdad? Pero hay una... Por con... sí. Pero se puede decir, si lo sí. pichos... Ah, uno claro. de callejero pasaba jugando. <risa> ah, bueno, yo ahí. no sé, porque yo no. Está bien, teacher. No se acuerda, pero sí está bien. The kids play outside for two days ago, está bien. Very good. Congratulations, Elmer and Lisette. You're a good uh, team. Thank you. All right. Since. Magdiel and Francisco, what happened? Magdiel. We're finished. You're finished. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Uh, hello. Uh, Flori and me, we finished. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. So we're going to stop right now so everybody comes back. Okay. 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 All right, guys, I think everybody is with me by now. All right, so let's let's work quickly on this so you guys know the answers. Let's see, for number one, Jane has been absent from class. Four or since, guys? Since. Since, very good. Number two, four or since? Four. 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 Several days, very good. The baby has been walking? Since, four. No, four. 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 Mm. Yeah. Que no sabemos yeah. exacto cuándo empezó, en enero, en junio, en septiembre. Uh, the baby has been walking since, since January. Since. Very good. We have been in business since, since. since 2001. We have been in business for over five years. She has had a pet monkey since, since. since. since last year. Very good. She has had a pet monkey. Four, 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 four months, okay? Keith has been playing the piano since, since he was a young child. Very good. Keith has been playing the piano for, four, four, for 20 yes. years. All right, very good. Let's do the next one. We have been driving for, 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 for six four, hours. Four, four, All right. Four. We drove to California. Ago. Two months yeah, two months ago. ago. All right, very good. Ago. Some went to the library for ten, ten minutes. minutes. Okay, ago. some people say for ten minutes, and some people say uh, ten minutes ago. Hablamos yeah. con Elmer y Lisette que a veces depende del contexto y si tiene sentido a veces puede decir u, o una u la, o la o la otra. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Entonces, en este caso podría ser Some went to the library 10 minutes ago or Some went to the library for 10 minutes. All right, media vez tenga sentido. Yes. Ok. Obviamente okay. no las combino, ¿verdad? Sam okay. has been at the library for, no, for four, three, three hours. hours. Three hours. Right? Jim lived in Hawaii for many years ago. For oh, many years ago. Many years or many years ago. O Esa también puede ser either or. Okay. Okay. Jim has lived in Hawaii for, for, for 60 years. years. Exactly. The kids play outside for, for, for 45, 45 minutes. Five minutes. And the last one, the kids play outside two ago. days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Okay. Days ago. Elmer dice que los niños a veces juegan sin parar, así que podría ser for two days. Pero ese es en el caso de Elmer. Sí. <laughs> All right, but that's okay. All right, very good. Let's see this one. Hagamos esa. Antes de irnos, yo sé, José, ya me va a decir, teacher, it's fine. I have been studying English for, for, for three years. Very yes. good. We have been waiting for delivery since, since, um, since last Tuesday. Um, since. All right. They arrived here 10 days ago. Go. Excellent. I met. I met him two years ago. I have been trying to get through one on the phone since, since, since the past hour. 
for the since the past hour for the past hour since since I think. All right, the machine broke down an hour ago. Ago, ago. ago. I've been driving for since since, since. 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 nineteen seventy four. The new art gallery has been open. Since. 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 Very so, good. Over. We had to buy a new washing machine a couple of days. Go. Go. Very good. The politician has been talking. For? For. Ah, yes, son los políticos del Salvador for six hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, ha <laughs> I haven't had a cigarette. Since, 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 since I gave up on my birthday last year, my birthday last year, very good. I have been waiting for for for, for only a few minutes. Yeah, he has expensive restaurant ever since since very good. He since he got his new job. All right, I left the firm two years ago, and he has been working here. Since? Since. Since the beginning of the month. Very good. All right, guys. Very nice. Okay, guys. So we're going to uh, keep on talking tomorrow about this, uh, the following talk section. Right, make sure that you send. That you send. Guys, Juancito, Juancito. All right, that you send all the paperwork uh, so we can start school, okay, the next, um, thank you, the next course, all right? So make sure that you've sent all the paperwork and everything. Thank you so much for being in class. It was very nice to see you again, that you're healthy and that you're safe, all right? Thank you all right. Okay. guys tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.